Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen ones, empaths, these narcissists that are involved in your life play games. They try to mess with your mind. Of course they want you back. You're the best thing that could possibly have ever happened to them, right? But they'll act distant. They'll act like they don't want you. They'll try to mess with your self-worth and your value. It's all a game to them. They play games, right? And anyone that plays games isn't worth the time of day, right? But before I get further into that, I want to bring to your attention about a fellow survivor, right? This fellow survivor managed to write a book. Meanwhile, they were going through the narcissistic abuse. And this book is published. It's out on Amazon. So I've attached a link in the description box if you'd like to check that out and support the fellow survivor, right? I think it's very courageous of them to be able to complete a book. Meanwhile, going through the narcissistic abuse, um... I think it it shows a lot of determination. Um, Please check it out, you know, even if you just have a look. Um, But for those of you that can support and purchase the book, that will be great as well. Because, you know, it's all love and like helping people on their purpose and their journey. These things will come back to you as well. And, And you always hear me talk about how purpose and meaning is important. So anyone that I find that has, you know managed to succeed and or even attempting to succeed you know um they've got other projects that they're going to work on too so they're an author that you should you should keep an eye out for so anyway um there's some more things i want to get into before i touch on the video i've launched the new free community forum on the membership website it's open for everyone to use to build expand and connect to fellow survivors i'm looking at the longevity of the forum as i should have release one when I first launched a membership website. I'm also running a one running one to one sessions. If you want a tailor made advice and me to shed some light on your issues, you can always reach out to me. The Empath group meeting is coming up on the twenty eighth and there's a new WhatsApp and Telegram group for survivors to stay in touch. Lastly, if you want crisis email support on a plan of action, the links for all I've mentioned are in the description box below. Thank you. But going back on to the video, right, these narcissists play games with you. They try and toy with your emotions. They try and mess up your mind, right? You know, a lot of you <clears throat> may be in a, in a position of pain because the narcissist discarded you, reverse discarded you, or even they become so toxic you had to cut them off, right? But some of you may be confused um, because the narcissist that was involved in your life has devalued you or made out you're nothing or they've put you through some sort of abuse of some kind and you're you're unsure of yourself, you know? What you got to understand is this is game playing and what I need you to do is backtrack a little bit, right? You see that point in time when they went east and you went west? I need you to go back a little bit from that. You know, it doesn't have to be too far back, but just reflect back a little bit. There are telltale signs of these individuals um, showing this kind of movement that they were trying to make, right? They were trying to mess with your mind and make you feel a certain way, right? How can I describe this, Bill? Like... If you backtrack a little bit, there were signs of this narcissist involved in your life. Like, um, preempting, you know, being distant, being hot and cold, um, treating, treating you in a bad way, you know, before the discard or reverse discard, or you cut them off because they become too toxic, before all of that happened. There were telltale signs that they were doing this. And that's because they play games, right? All this happened now, right? 
when they've gone east, um, when you've gone east and they've gone west, right? All that's happened now is this proven to become more of more of a more importance to the narcissist that was involved in your life to hurt you than it than it is to be a supportive, loving partner towards you, right? They can't be a supporting, loving partner, but I'm trying to say even the mask or whatever, right? It's become more important for these individuals to try and hurt you, to try and mess with your mind, to gaslight you, to try and send you crazy, you know? Being around these individuals can send you crazy, right? And that and that's that's ultimately, you know, you can lose your mind by being intertwined with these individuals. So, you know, however long the relationship lasted, if you woke up, you know, it, it spared you from a lifetime of misery before you got too deep. You, you Okay, you may have had children with them or you may have got married to them or you may have, but there was still, you know, further avenues you could have explored where you would have got more um, enmeshed with them, you know. So when this, this, this inevitable end comes, it's happened at the right time for you it's happened at the right time that you're seeing correctly. You know, you know what they are, right? But literally, it's all game playing. You know, they love toying with your emotions. They love playing games. They love going hot and cold. They love confusing you. And I just want you to reflect back to the relationship that you're involved in with this narcissist in your life. They done this anyway. They were doing this throughout the relationship. There was there was spells of it. They were doing this throughout the relationship, right? And a lot of it may have just gone over your head. And now, if you look back in retrospect, you'll be able to piece it all together and say, "Okay, damn, yeah, they 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 was doing that. They was actually playing that game, you know." And like I said, anyone that plays these sort of games, right? You know. <sighs> They're grown adults. You're you're a grown adult, right? Anyone that plays these games, just, they're not worth the time of day. They're just not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Anyone that plays these sort of games, it shows what they're really about. You know, they're not someone you can rely on. They're not transparent. They're not honest. They're not true. They're not authentic. You know what I'm saying? They're just not. So. You you don't need to be phased by it, right? You don't need to be phased. <clears throat> you may be hurt. You may feel like you've been betrayed. You may feel like you've been abused. You may you may feel all of these things, but that's why I always say look for indifference, right? It's 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 all about becoming stoic and emotionless, right? It's all about becoming stoic and emotionless and <clears throat> Not letting this this nature of the, the narcissist that was involved in your life kind of mess with your mind. Because if you allow the, the, their actions to mess with your mind, it can actually lead you to insanity. It can actually lead you to lose your mind, you know. And I want to protect you from that. And that's why I say it's about disengaging. It's about detaching emotionally. It's about, you know embracing what you're seeing now you're seeing correctly now yes it may be daunting yes it may be scary yes it may be alarming but you're seeing correctly now right and if you're able to view them in the in this light you see them as a parasite you see them as a narcissist there's no point having your emotions intertwined with them any longer from that point forward from the moment you wake up it's about being stoic in your everyday life, being emotionless, right? Removing all emotion from the situation, right? And understanding that they're going to, you know, they're playing these games. They may have made out they don't want to be around you. You know, they may have made out your, they may have devalued you and made out trying to affect your self-worth or your self-value, you know, or, um, the way you view yourself, they're playing games, you know? All of them collected these narcissists that are involved in your life. They play these games, but they want you back. But the problem is they don't know how to build the bridge back to you. 
after they've made the, they're waiting for you to reach out to them. They're waiting for you to try and repair it. They love the empath and the chosen one trying to repair something. They know you're good at fixing broken things. And that's why I'm saying, if you look back in retrospect towards the end of the relationship or even throughout the duration of the relationship, they would play hot and cold. They would toy with your emotions. They would, they would destroy the relationship and you would rush in there and fix it. It's not your fault that you used to fix these things because you thought you was in a healthy, transparent, loving relationship. Right, so you used to fix these 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 things that they brought to your attention. You used to fix them. You'd rush in there. You'd fix it. You'd fix it. You'd fix it. You'd fix it. That's what they're waiting for you to do now. You know, that's what they're waiting for you to do now. They want you back. They're waiting for you to try and fix it. You know, but then if you try and fix it, right? You know, if you try and fix it or you try to reach out to them, they may they may they may start playing more games again. You know, acting disinterested. Acting that like they don't want you to fix it, you know. Literally, you've got to just detach emotionally from these parasitic creatures, right? Detach emotionally from them. They're fucking weirdos. They're weirdos. They're dusty, dusty weirdos. You know, you, you've got to get to that point of indifference. Please, chosen ones and empaths, you've got to aim for that point of indifference. You know, that, like, please don't let whatever they done to you affect your self-worth you know you shouldn't let none like nothing that they done to you the abuse affect your self-worth because all of their attacks on your self-worth just shows the true nature of what they really are you know authentic genuine people wouldn't do that authentic genuine people wouldn't abuse you in that way of any kind from the narcissistic handbook they wouldn't do these things that they do this type of abuse, they wouldn't do it, right? Any authentic souls wouldn't do that to you. So that's why I'm saying them doing it to you just shows what they really are, you know? And that's why when you know what they really are, you need to get to that place where it's like, okay, right, you know what they are now. Don't need to let that phase you, you know? You've woken up. You don't need to let it phase you, you know, but... Of course they want you back, you know. They 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 they'll ruin relationships. They'll ruin family homes. They'll ruin marriages. They'll 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 do all of that, you know. They'll go through with divorces. They'll do all of that, and secretly they desire you back. You know, it's like they're fucking messed up in the head, you know. So the further you are away from them, the less contact you have with them so even if you do have children or whatever the less contact limit the amount of contact you have with them limit the amount of involvement they have in your life if you do have to be part of their life for, for raising children etc right but like i said i've mentioned many times you know if you have young children you should look into parallel parenting um because you know, co-parenting with a narcissist doesn't really work. You should look into parallel parenting because it gives you the opportunity to communicate through an app. It gives you the opportunity to um, meet in a neutral location so they don't just turn up to your house. You don't just turn up to theirs. You meet in a neutral location to exchange your child, you know, for overnight visits and stuff like that. And it diminishes them completely you know <clears throat> they won't like it they won't like it but it's something that you should implement in your in your way in your life you know i've it it's it can really be beneficial um parallel parenting so but that's for those who do have do have children with them but for the rest of you that don't you know you don't need to be phased with them you know you need to like let them get on with it you know, they, if they made out they want nothing to do with you or become so toxic, you had to cut them off. They treated you in a way that was so unjust and so unfair. You know, let them get on with it. They're absolute parasites, you know. They're absolute parasites, you know. Just let them get on with it, you know. They're not going to find anyone like you again, no matter where they search. 
They're not going to find someone like you again. You as a chosen one, an empath, they're not going to find someone like you again. They want to play these games. You know, let them go and play games. They'll go and get played. They'll go and play games with people that play games with them. You know, you haven't got time for games. You know, they want to play games with you. You haven't got time for games. You don't play games like that. You know, let them go. They'll go, they'll go off other people. I'm not trying to trigger any of you now. They'll go find other people. And these other people play games with them. You know, that's what they'll run into. <laughs> that's what they'll run into now. You know, they'll run into people playing games with them as well, other narcissists, other toxic individuals. It's very rare for a narcissist to even come across an empath, right? So what you got to understand is after they make their mess, let them live with it because they'll, they'll always remember the chosen one, the empath that they had for that particular period of time in their life. They'll always remember you and they're accustomed to the way that you treated them. They will never find it anywhere they search ever again. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you don't have to, but if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can always find the link in the description box. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please check out that uh, Fellow Survivors book. Um, it's on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session or join the Empath group meeting, or you'd like crisis email support, the links for everything that I've mentioned in today's video will be in the description box below. So anyway, thanks for watching today. I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.